Not at all. Hmm. Miraculous has got some of their own figures now. <laughs> Pretty much the Baroness Akiko and Scarlet right there. Looks like they're restocking though. Hmm, that's interesting. Making lots of noise. Dustin Rhodes, Brittany Baker, Dustin Rhodes, Britt Baker. Corizian, 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 Corizian. Hello. That is a lot of Doctor Dooms, man. Doesn't look like there's anything. Wow. Okay, hello. He's like $70. Connect Adventures 1, 2, 3, 4 Connect Adventures. <laughs> like this. This is the only way. What the hell? I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Really could not have done this without you. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing. Yep, getting off at Sherway Gardens. Let's head to Toys R Us, guys. Oh, hey guys, it's Jay. Man, it is the height of summer right now. My gosh, it is crazy it's like 27 degrees right now i'm sweating like a like it's no tomorrow anyway i'm over here at sherwood gardens i'm gonna pop into the uh gamestop over here then i'm gonna hop into uh walmart there's a winners and of course we're gonna go check out toys r us all right guys wish me luck hopefully there'll be some uh some savings out there you just never know all right guys wish me luck all right guys let's head into gamestop Got some 30% off backpacks here. Cool. <laughs> Naruto. With a whole bunch of Neko. Neko Naruto. That is neat. How much is this thing? Oh, 50 bucks. 44 with the edge. Not bad. Ichiraku Ramen Shop. Nice. A lot of these Naruto tie ins. I think they're all Naruto. Oh, this one is Cowboy Bebop. Einstein. Yeah, more on Naruto. Some Demon Slayer as well. Very cool. Up to 30% off. And even some Care Bear hats. What? Care Bears? That's hilarious. None of them have hearts. Hmm. And even a Kirby wallet. Nice. Very cool. Alright, guys, let's keep going. Okay, they got a ton of Star Wars here. Holy crap, Base Melbus. The best prices, trust me. Toys R Us is charging way too much compared to GameStop. Only $30.99, only $30.99 here with the Edge. If you're gonna buy any Star Wars figures, come to GameStop, guys. Because these guys have the best prices. Yeah, nobody we haven't seen before yet. Mace Windu, obviously. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again, the best prices. Even Walmart can't touch these right now. Yeah, no Ahsoka Tano though. We got a quill from the Mandalorian. And there's Ahsoka, found her. Nice, good to see her here. Oh, Anakin Skywalker, peasant edition. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Nobody else though. Luminar and Dooley, Lobot. Lots of Lobots, Moff Gideons, Princess Leia from Bespin. Ooh, wow, there's a Death Watch Mandalorian. It's the first time I've ever seen that one. That is cool. How much is this one? Yep, again, the best price. Only $18.99, $18.99 with the Edge. Seriously, guys, definitely get yourselves an Edge card. And you'll save a ton of money on action figures. Rebel Soldiers, Barris Afi, Obi-Wan... Yep, no, no clone troopers though. Clone the Dark Spangler, $37.99. Again, best price. Ooh, this one's gonna be expensive. Power of the Force carded figure, 40 bucks, even with the edge. Yeah, that's that's rough. <clears throat> but I just spied something. Yep. Archive edition. Lando Corizian with a skiff guard uniform. Nice. Love the photo reel, looks really good. Excellent stuff. Again, the best price, thirty-two ninety-nine. You gotta come here for all your, all your figures. Oh, hello. They still have one of the Navarro Cantina sets, only sixty-seven forty-nine here. That's excellent. At uh, at Toys R Us, it's like seventy-nine ninety-nine. Like I said, this is the best place to buy these things, guys. That is a really good price, actually. That's crazy. Oh my God. Okay, I wasn't expecting to find this here. Five Force Legion Clone Trooper. Holy crap. $32.99. That's a really good price. Holy crap. 
Okay, I might think about that. That's actually a really, really good price. Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find this. I had never seen this in the wild. It's Scorpina and the Yellow Ranger. Oh, for crying out loud. The best price, $56.99. Alright, I guess I'm... God damn it, I guess I'm bring I guess I'm picking this up. What the freak? Okay. Well, there's one. Morph Michelangelo Raphael. Holy crap, that is something I wasn't expecting to find today. SPDA squad ranger red. Eh, all these all these rangers. Wow. There's the yellow Zio Ranger. Basically it's No, oh, sorry I forgot. This is Zio. Still, that is her. Yeah, good to see her. I got the Zio Cogs. Oh, Donna Charge Bank. I don't think I've ever seen that one yet. Cool. I got a few over here, at least two. And then the rest of them pretty much are the same. And they got the in-space Phantom Ranger. Nice. Less I. Okay, I wasn't expecting to spend that kind of money today, but I guess we're gonna have to. And we got lift ticket here. $26.99 with the edge. Good good price. And we have deep cover. 20, 20, $26.99 as well. A uh, whole bunch of Lexi figures, but mostly RCs. Pretty much all RCs. And we have a couple of Bumblebee figures, including the Soundwave. Pipes. And this weird nest Bumblebee. I don't know. I guess it's hibernation mode. We got Wingfinger, we got Waspinator. Yeah, but the price for today, guys, is Scorpina. Holy crap, that's crazy. I wasn't not expecting to find that. They got Lord's Dead helmets, and they got the Pink Ranger helmets as well. Cool. All right, guys, let's keep going. And you're ready to DC and Marvel section. They got some sort of Eternals box. Iron Man Gauntlet. Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, what's that? That's one of those... Yeah, he, uh, minifigures. It's the Predator. Looks really, very cool. Nice. And then we got Redeemer Spawn. Actually, that's the... It is Redeemer. No, it's not. It's the, um... Yeah, the Dark Redeemer. Okay. Mandarin Spawn. The Violator. Bloody Violator. Cygor. Warhammer 40,000. Hmm, Miraculous has got some of their own figures now. It's kind of cool. Bumblebees and foxes. Among Us, mostly the Fortnite stuff. Oh, there's Scareglow. Good to see him. Fisto, Evil Lin, Ram Man, Battle Armor, He Man. Good stuff. Yeah, we got Land Sharks and Wind Raiders. And that's about it. Alright, guys, let's get going. And over here by the DC section, there's a lot of DC deceased figures on the top of there. All those Batman the Animated Series figures. Very cool. Some of the DC Direct figures as well. Unmasked, Bloodsport, Wonder Woman, Build-A-Horse, Batman, Joker, Batman, Joker. Yeah, nothing else standing out too much. They do have that Masked Shriek and the collectibles for the Comedian and the Marionette. Alright guys, let's get going. And on this side we have the crossovers for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dread Pirate Roberts, some Brick and Morty stuff, nothing else too interesting to look at, but we do have the Snake Eyes and Alpha Commandos. <laughs> Pretty much the Baroness, Akiko, and Scarlet right there. We have Lady J here. A whole bunch of different League of Legends figures, Apex, The Witcher, and not much else. That's pretty much it. Alright guys, let's get out of here. And on this side, they finally got the Thor Love and Thunder Wave. So they've got Star-Lord. They've got Thor. They've got Groot. Good to see him here. King Valkyrie. Awesome. Gore, the God Killer. Another Gore. And another Gore. Wow. So the only one missing is really the Mighty Thor. Surtur. Iron Man Mark. When the 40... 15, sorry. <laughs> I can't even read that. I don't know what that is. Thanos. Quicksilver. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, Hercules. 
Iron Man, and a whole bunch of different Marvel series. And we don't see anybody we haven't seen here before. Whole bunch, the entire Eternal series. Pretty much that's it. Yeah. They do have the Multiverse of Madness Wave, which is a really good price. Oh my gosh, twenty six ninety eight, guys. Definitely head over here and pick these guys up if you haven't already. That's an amazing price. Well, they still have Sylvie. That's really cool. And Nebula. Very cool figures to actually finish the building that figure that um, watch, no, watcher. All right, guys, let's get going. It's got to be the last one in the city. I have never seen this. <laughs> really? Yeah, ever. You guys have been holding on to it for a while. Quite a while. Actually. Wow, I'm surprised. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take it easy. All right, guys, that was awesome. I came here looking for a $5 Friday pickup that I had uh, reserved a little while ago, but I ended up finding Scorpina and the Yellow Ranger. Holy crap, everybody. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't actually planning on getting this set, because um, I figured that they would have had, uh, you know, uh, the, the Scorpina single by now, but they still haven't brought it out, so before that actually becomes a rare thing, I decided, you know, what the heck, just pick it up. Uh, you know, it's just for safety. Anyways, guys, I'm off to the next location. I'll see you guys there. All right, let's pop into Walmart really quick. This one's pretty big too. <laughs> All right, let's head over to toys. Okay, this is a massive toy section. Holy crap. All right, let's take a quick look around. Not sure, sure if I see anything too interesting. Looks like they're restocking though. Hmm, that's interesting. Anything interesting? Like very interesting? I don't know what this is. Injustice. Hmm. Jada toys. That's rather interesting, but nothing else that we can see from Master Universe or any of the lines we're collecting. Okay, let's keep going. They have a whole display here for the new Jurassic World. All these new Triceratopses. Making lots of noise. Yeah, very, very cool. Jurassic Park is everywhere. Holy crap. Everything Jurassic Park. If you are interested in Jurassic Park stuff, definitely come over to Sherway Walmart. We got some uh, Lightyear tie-ins, which unfortunately uh, have not done too well. Um, I understand that the box office didn't do as well as they were expecting. Gold label Zuko, a whole bunch of different <laughs> Jurassic World, just crazy. And yeah, nothing else too exciting. He-Man from the Netflix series, Miro, Miro. Dustin Rhodes, Britt Baker, Dustin Rhodes, Britt Baker, Britt Baker, Miro. Yeah, nobody else to stand out-ish. We got Riho here, we got Shida, and Hagger. Yeah, Fisto, Evelyn, Clamp Champ, Ram Man. Yeah, nobody else really to write home about. A couple of WWE figures, The Rock, Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre. Yeah, no one... No one's super special, fortunately. We got Mae Young, though. If you want a Mae Young, we got Mae Young. Over here by the Star Wars section, we got Lando Carizian, Carizian, IG-11, 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 IG-11. Carizian, 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 Carizian. Per sorry, uh, yeah, Imperial Death Trooper, Short Trooper, and Bo-Katan's. Yeah, not much. I think that's about it. Really not seeing too much. What the heck is this? Doctor Doom. Mech Strike, Monster Hunters, hello. That is a lot of Doctor Dooms, man. There's one other figure here, who's this? This is, oh, it's Thor. Mech Strike, Mech Strike Thor. Neat. Basically uh, mechanized superheroes. Yeah, even Captain America here. He's been mechanized as well. Crazy. Cool. I don't know how old these are. These look actually pretty old. But they're here. Mech Strike. I think these were from last year, actually. Mech Strike uh, Iron Man, which is kind of stupid. Of course he's a Mech Strike. He's a Mech. Let go. Let go. Yeah, and then there's Iron Man. Uh, sorry, Captain America without his uh, Mech. There's that Lord Th Love and Thunder figures. All three of them. Good to see them here. No window. We have Despair, 
Marbles Wong, um, Mordo, Sleepwalker, America Chavez. Yeah, it's the whole line. Wow. $35.99. Doesn't look like there's anything. Wow. Okay, hello. Cyclonus. Can't believe he's still here. We'll scan him in, see if uh, see if he comes up as still $36.99. That's the big bot himself. We got Beast Fours. This is just not worth it at all. The um, Scorponok, he's like $70. Oh. $69.99, just the same as all these. Not worth it. Seriously, don't don't even bother, guys. Bumblebee. We got Bulkhead. There's a blaster. No window. No window. Yeah, Beast Wars. Rekgars. I wonder if these guys will ever go on sale. Sweeps. Yeah, Yalvatrons. Optimus Primes. Hey, there are more Thors here. Crazy. Whole bunch of REDs. And yeah, that seems to be about it. All right, guys, let's keep going. I'm hoping that some of these guys have gone on clearance already. Nope, $47.97, $47.97, like this. This is the only way. What the hell? What? No, that's gotta be a mistake. Are you serious? All right, well, I guess if that's what it is, that's what it is. All right, let's go check out, guys, and see what happens. <laughs> guys, that was freaking amazing, I can't believe it. We got Cyclonus <laughs> for two cents. I cannot believe that, guys. It says here that it's, that it's down to $37.96, but after I scanned it in, it said it was uh, two cents, so yeah, go figure. Anyways, guys, let's head over to Toys R Us and see what they got. Then uh, head back to the lair and see what we picked up today. It's about in the Value Village. Yeah, not much of anything here, really. Nothing collectible, anyway. They do have these Mighty Mugs. <laughs> kind of squishable, I guess. Yep. Oh, oh they changed faces. All right, that's kind of cool. Ten bucks. Mint and box, not bad. Sharpeners. Ooh. Mrs. Who, from Doctor Who, I guess? Nope, it's from another... A Wrinkle in Time. Okay, well, there you go. Ooh, Stridor! What the heck? Are you serious? This is a vintage Stridor. What? A vintage Stridor? You're kidding me. Three bucks? Uh, hello? Yeah? Oh my god. That's freaking crazy. Dudes, this is a vintage Stridor. He's missing his tail. But, you know what? He's pretty much all here. Oh my god. He's got most of his stickers, too. That is crazy. Oh my god. Well, hell yeah. I'm picking up a vintage Stridor. Damn, I wish he had, I wish he had his tail. Maybe I'll do a little bit of searching and see if it's around here somewhere. Freak, man. Vintage Stridor. That's crazy. All right, picking that one up. Looks like we also have a um, somebody painted Iron Man gold. Interesting. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's anything else of real note other than that. Yeah, there's that weird Iron Man bank. But that's freaking cool, man. Vintage Stridor. I never thought I'd see him here. That is crazy. Yeah, I think that's it. Nothing else, really. That is one mean-looking Triceratops. Holy crap. Cool. All right, this, this was definitely worth the, the stop here. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. All right, over here by the video game section, it's pretty much all NFL, NHL 2010, soccer, 2014, Connect Adventures 1, 2, 3, 4 Connect Adventures. <laughs> yeah, not much collectible. Ooh, little big planet. Four bucks, though. Dang, that would have been good. Is it in here? That's actually an original one, too. Yep, it's in there. No manual, though. Still, that's pretty cool. Assassin's Creed, the original one. This is the GameStop edition. Hmm, three, four bucks. That is interesting. Not bad. I would pick that up if I was collecting PS3. And it'll be a show. Ooh, we play. Hmm, three ninety nine, four bucks. Not bad. Yeah, not much else. The Deathly Hollows compact discs, and nothing else really except for PS2 game for uh, NBA Live. NBA Live. Yeah, that's about it. All right, guys. Let's keep going. Okay, I went back to dig for the tail, and I haven't found anything yet, but check this out. Man, I remember this from, uh, from toy, from, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Ro um, Radio Shack. I remember this little dude. Does he work? No batteries, obviously. Too bad. I remember him. 
He's really cool. I think he swallows coins or something. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm still looking for the tail. Doesn't seem to be anywhere though. Too bad. I really would have liked to have that tail. But I can pick it up from other resellers somewhere. It's just gonna be a little expensive. Hey, holy crap. Okay, so a lot of kids will know this from Toy Story, but this this little guy is is like ancient, man. Fisher Price toys. So this one's the updated edition. It's made of plastic. The original one was made of uh, of of wood. But yeah, he's really really cool. His eyes move his eyes move up and down. Kind of creepy, actually. If you yep, there it is. Yeah, it's really really cool. That is awesome. What was he called again? He doesn't really have a name. He is no, nope, doesn't have a name. Just Fisher Price toys. Yeah, he was really fun when I when, when we when we were growing up. But that's about it. I can't seem. There's the really updated edition. And of course, I dropped something. Wow, they have a couple of them there. See that? Very very cool. They keep making them. They're a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna keep looking for that tail, but I don't think I'm gonna find it. All right, guys, let's keep going. Hello, how are you? Good. Just this one? Just that one. So it's three and forty cents. Three dollars and thirty. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> guys, I can't believe it, man. This is this is just nuts. I actually found a vintage Stridor here. <laughs> Albeit he doesn't have his tail, but I got him for three bucks. Yeah, you heard me right, three bucks. This is crazy, man. This thrifting thing is getting addictive, I gotta tell you. All right, guys, I'm headed back to the lair. Let's see what we picked up today. Whew, what a day. <laughs> oh, man, this was crazy. <laughs> man, this, this under $10 challenge is getting crazy, and doing the thrifting, man, let's see what we picked up today. Whew, what a day, guys. What a day. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at what uh, we picked up today. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. All right, so the first thing we did was we went uh, all the way to <laughs> to Sherway Gardens, which is, uh, which is pretty far from here. I mean, it's about an hour's drive in traffic. And we went to EB Games, where I was able to pick up one of my $5 Friday pickups, which was, uh, come here, yeah. For $5, we were able to pick up, yeah, Parker, from the Aliens line, from NECA. Wow, that's crazy. Holy crap. Only $5. That is amazing. Hmm, something happened to his wrist. Ooh. <laughs> He's got a lot of great accessories, you know, the flamethrower, the, uh, the, the detector, um, all these crazy, crazy devices. Even even one of Mother's um, uh, data boards, just crazy. That is incredible. From NECA. Yeah, that's awesome. So glad we were able to get uh, Parker. That's so amazing. Okay, then, at the same location, I did not even know that these things were still even around. I was actually pretty shocked when I saw this uh, on, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the shelf. Holy crap. Yeah, Scorpina. Oh my gosh! So I've been I've been looking around for her, um, and uh, the Yellow Ranger. Uh, this one is uh, Aisha, I believe. Crazy! Oh my gosh! Now uh, the thing is, I wasn't really planning on picking this setup um, because, uh, well, basically, I was hoping that Scorpina would be released uh, as a single, but you know, it, it seems like, like that's becoming less and less an option, at least in the in the uh, in the short term. So I decided, you know what? Screw it! I'll just pick up the the, the double set and figure it out later. Only um, only fifty six dollars with the edge, so it was like sixty four dollars, sixty seven, sixty five dollars, something like that. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Definitely a very, very cool set. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to have uh, Scorpina in the collection. Another piece to add to the puzzle. Excellent. All right. And then uh, over, at, uh, over at Walmart <laughs> in the same location. Yeah, man, this was crazy. Um, this was just nuts. Yeah, I picked up a. I saw this on the shelf, and I was, I was, I was kind of surprised. I had no idea that this was actually there, uh, and I was like, "All right, that's that's cool. It's uh, thirty six ninety seven. And I thought maybe it was on clearance, maybe it's even lower. And yeah, that was really crazy because it ended up being only two cents. Now it's not it's not the greatest uh, box, but who cares? For two cents, that's incredible. So yeah, there are still those um, uh, two cent clearances out there, guys. So do not sleep on that. 
yeah, this is this is kind of crazy. Uh, I had no idea that was that was even a thing. And yeah, you can see right here, it is two cents. Wow, just freaking crazy. Oh my gosh, I picked up. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot. To, I forgot to mention. I also picked up. Um, I took the opportunity. Two cents, right? So I picked. I, I ended up picking up Core Class uh, Rodimus Prime. Sorry, a hot rod. Uh, core Class hot rod. Just, just because you know, I, I, I saved the, I saved, I saved so much money on, um, on, uh, on Cyclonus that I decided to go ahead and pick up uh, uh, Core Class um, Hot Rod, and then <laughs> that wasn't wasn't all of it, guys. I couldn't believe it. I made a really quick stop off over at, um, over at uh, Value Village, and I could not believe it. Holy crap! I ended up picking up Stridor. Holy crap, guys! Stridor, come on, that's 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 crazy. I can't believe I was able to pick up Stridor uh, for three dollars, man. Three dollars plus tax, it was like three forty, something like that. Uh, I, th- I think that I think that's what it came out to. Yeah, Canadian taxes, guys, just ridiculous. But yeah, Stridor, man, that is awesome. Now he's missing his tail. But I can I can figure out something. I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find a tail somewhere. And you know what? He's got almost all of his stickers, uh, if not all of his stickers. I'm pretty sure that's the majority of them. So yeah, like this is crazy. Can't believe that I was able to to to, to find Stridor in the wild. At you know, um, admittedly, it was it was at a a a, a, a good uh, sorry um, Value Village. So yeah, freaking awesome, man! Holy crap! What a uh, what a haul today, vintage Stridor guys! This is just incredible. Look at all these pickups. Yes, indeed, the ten dollar and under action figure challenge continues with Stridor and Parker, and just by default, uh, Cyclonus. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. This was just a bonus here. This this I was not expecting at all. Holy crap, everybody! What an amazing hunt, guys. They're out there. Keep hunting. The thrifting continues. Amazing. Oh, guys, I gotta tell you, it, it just keeps getting crazier and crazier here at the Mega J Retro. Uh, $10 and under challenge. Oh, my gosh. The fact that I was able to get Parker uh, Cyclonus over there for two cents, that makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. And then heading over to, you know, just popping in at the uh, Valley Village randomly, and there was Stridor. Vintage Stridor in the wild, man. I, I, I think he's worth a, a little bit of money. I'm not even joking. Now, again, he doesn't have his tail, but heck, who cares? Vintage Stridor in the wild. This is freaking awesome. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. It really helps me out. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Geek proud, everybody. Geek proud.